Hello, and welcome to the I'm Alive Again Holistic Health Show, or Bible Health 101 Show, here on YouTube. I'm sorry I haven't posted any videos in some time, but believe me, plenty are soon to come. First of all, I'd like to uh, make some videos sharing the information that I learned through the Life Extension Center. And it was through their online program, of course, that I became a certified nutritional consultant. They have a great program, and it's one that I recommend to you. At the uh, end of our show, uh, in the credits of this video, I have uh, shared their link with you. Now, today, we're going to be discussing the table of success. And with the abundance and often, um, let me see, contradictory uh, health inf uh, information that's available, uh, I found that this table of success is a necessary tool in helping us all to reach our health goals. Now, it'd be really easy for me just to give you a diet plan or an exercise program but the truth is, and that's what we're about, the truth is, is that seldom ever works. So, we not only need to know what to do, but also why we are doing it. And the goal of, of this lesson, and uh, all of the rest of our messages in general, is to give you the why you need to eat right. Why you need to exercise properly. Why you need to get proper rest. And... Uh, I remember at the Life Extension Center in their program, they had a saying, uh, good health begins with knowledge. And isn't that what we also learn in the scriptures when it says in Hosea 4, 6, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge? The Bible also says that we're fearfully and wonderfully made. In fact, we're so wonderfully made that our bodies were designed to survive. Initially, I mean, think about it. When uh, our bodies aren't affected initially, let's say when we skip a meal, or, or when we eat garbage, or, or when we don't get proper sleep. You see, our bodies are miraculous, because even after all of that, our bodies still function normally. Now, that can be both a blessing and a curse, because so often, uh, I find that we'll, we'll stress our bodies, we'll undernourish our bodies, uh, we, we won't give, it give our bodies adequate rest, and, uh, and so often we, we don't even realize that anything is wrong until it's too late. And the, the sad fact of the matter is that we uh, generally are not motivated to do anything about our health until something goes wrong. Now, a lot of us are informed about diet, and yet we uh, don't exercise. Or a lot of us have a good diet, and we consistently uh, exercise, but we don't get any rest. And, and I believe that the key, or, or let's say the secret to health, is, is balance. We need to have balanced lifestyles. This is what I learned at the Life Extension Center. And this balanced lifestyle, um, I believe, can be reached by an understanding or having an understanding of what's called the table of success. This is very useful. Now think of a table with four legs. What happens if one or more of those legs is weak? Well, that's obvious. Once pressure is added to the table, the table will fall. And... Uh, today, really what I want to do is go over with you the legs of the table of success. You see, if, if you're weak or deficient in any of these, uh, these areas, uh, if you're weak and deficient in any of, or with any of these legs of the table of success, you're going to see that your health and your wellness will suffer. So, the first leg of the table of success is motivation. This is knowing why it is that you want to reach 
the health and wellness goals that you have. The second leg of the table of success is fuel. Now that of course would include nutrition which is uh, food and supplements and uh, you know I, I recommend uh, kind of a combination of two diet plans. One is the Edenic diet or um, the, the diet uh, promoted through Hallelujah Acres, the Genesis 129 diet. And I also um, promote the Maker's diet with, uh, with Jordan uh, Rubin. And my diet plan is a combination of the two with an emphasis on fresh, raw fruits and vegetables. And, um, you know, so that's that this 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 second leg of the table of success being fuel uh, includes uh, food and supplements. And, you know, I think a good a good uh, supplement is uh, very beneficial to us because we cannot get all of the uh, nutrition that our body needs nowadays just through food. So uh, just want to make it known I offer the Healthy Fix product line on my website which you can find at www.biblehealth101.com or you can just go to the Healthy Fix website which is www.healthyfix.com Another part of the uh, second leg of the table of success is water. Water is very important. We're supposed to drink at least half of our body weight in ounces of water per day. And of course I recommend that you drink distilled water. Certainly don't drink tap water. Okay. Now the other part of uh, this, this fuel section would be oxygen and uh, that would include things like getting outside, breathing fresh air, uh, deep breathing exercises, etc. Now moving on to the third leg of the table of success that would be exercise and this would include things like cardiovascular exercises and resistance exercises. So we have to have both to um, be successful in this third leg of the table of success. And uh, in the future I plan to give uh, videos or should I say video demonstrations of various exercises. The uh, fourth leg of the table of success would be rest and stress management. Uh, that includes sleep and time management. And I think an understanding of the seventh day Sabbath would be important here. Uh, we see in the Bible that Yeshua got rest. It says that he was on a boat with his head on a pillow. So balance is the key to success. Where are you weak? Look back over uh, this video and uh, and listen to the four legs of the table of success. Figure out where you're, uh, where you're weak. And, uh, and I would be glad to help you get back on track. Because understanding the four legs of the table of success will, I promise, will help you to have a healthy lifestyle. I would like to thank you for listening to our program today and ask you to stay tuned for part two in this series on the table of success. The Lord bless you.